In this video, I'm going to show you how to whiten or brighten up teeth in Photoshop. Now, I'm in Adobe Photoshop. This is CS6. All right, I have an image here that I've done some kind of light touch up to, but I just want to brighten up um, the teeth a little bit. Um, you know, I think most of us have a little bit of stains from the coffee and things like that. So there, there are some tutorials out there that show basically using the lasso tool and kind of drawing around the teeth. However, I think it looks a little bit too too fake, too edited, and it's not refined enough. So I'm going to show you another way which I think uh, allows for more control, kind of more finesse uh, on, on the project, or on the photo rather. So what we're going to do first is uh, we're going to go down here to the bottom and we're going to select this little yin yang thing. Uh, let's first go down here and we're going to go to U and saturation. And uh, we don't want to work with the master. We want to go down here. We just want to work with the yellows for right now. Don't mind, you will see the photo change, however, we're not going to save all that. I'm going to take the satur saturation, and I'm going to bring this down to, you know, somewhere around 70, more or less. Doesn't matter. It can be plus or minus, you know, 5. And I'm going to take the, the lightness, and I'm going to bring it up about the same amount, more or less. Yeah, there we go, 70. I'm going to click this just to close the box out. And then what I'm going to do to, um, I'm not even sure what the technical word of this is. I just, again, I just know how to get this stuff done. So I'm going to hold down Command-I to... Um, I don't know what it does exactly, but it uh, it's still there. Um, it kind of takes it off of this, um, takes it off of our layer temporarily. But what I want to do is those settings that I just made, I want to paint them back into the teeth. So I'm going to hit B on my keyboard for B. Uh, that should be the same on again Mac or both Mac and PC. And then if you want to adjust the size of your um, that circle thing here, of course a helicopter is going by in the background. I don't know if you can hear that, but all right, I'm going to zoom in a lot here and uh, this photo is not as crisp as it could and I can use the left bracket and right bracket bracket to increase the size of that uh, my brush or I can go up here and uh, you know select it there in size so I'm just going to go down a little bit and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of do a rough uh, let me even go a little bit smaller I'll give it a little bit more and I'm just going to kind of paint uh, over the teeth and with this tool you can you, know, you can just kind of get the outline. You can little, almost hover over the gum line just a little bit too. And you're just basically going to be painting over, again, those settings that you just did. Uh, so I'm going to do that. Let's get a little bit more there. Get a little bit more over here. And let's get this tooth as well. Perfect. Okay. Let's go over to here to our other um, subject in the photo. Oh, bear with me as my computer goes. There we go. And let's just do the same thing over here. Let's go ahead and paint that. Bear with me. This is actually a photo I want to use. So I'm taking a little bit more time on this one here. There we go. Paint around the teeth. And again, you can kind of, you want to almost hover right over the gum line too. And these teeth over here have some fillings. I know there are other techniques to you know, kind of uh, maybe use the healing brush tool or some other techniques. I'm really not that great at Photoshop, just not to get some stuff done. Uh, but I'm not going to cover that in this video. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom out of the picture a little bit here. And uh, just nice and subtle, doesn't look too edited. And let me just go ahead and hide that layer. So there you can see, there are the teeth, uh, natural, and here they are white. Just a nice little touch to the photo. Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and create a... Um, uh, I don't even know the reason why to do this again. I just know that this is what we need to do. So I'm going to go ahead over here with the mouse. I'm going to click on the background layer once. I'm going to hold Command J, which duplicates the layer. I, I think you can just right click and hit duplicate layer too if you don't have that. Now here's my background copy. I'm going to hold down Command uh, on, on, my on my keyboard. I'm on a Mac. I think if you're on Windows, you're going to hold down Control. Anyway, I'm going to hold down Command and I'm going to select these two layers together and then I'm going to right click and merge the layers. Perfect. So there's, um, again, I don't even know what that does, but <laughs> if I uncheck that layer, you can see what it does to the teeth. So there we go. My image is ready. Uh, I'm ready to roll here. So feel free if you want to go ahead and just, you know, save your file. But in this case, I'm going to just save it for the web. Uh, and I'm just going to be sending these photos to someone so we don't need 5,000 pixels by 3,400. I'm just going to go ahead and let's just say 1,500. I'm going to make sure in my preset uh, I want this to be a JPEG high. I'm going to hit save and then just save that to my computer. And once you have the file saved, you're pretty much ready to rock and roll. You can go ahead and just do that same 
uh, that same technique with any other photo. Hope the video has been helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, do not ask me. <laughs> I am not a Photoshop expert. I just know how to do this one thing here, which is whitening teeth. So again, hope this is helpful. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.